Whoa. And put the spacer, there we go, like that. Let's make sure this fits correctly. Yep. This is to put this on and then thread the bolt through there. So, and use this to thread it on here like this. And then supposedly, oh no, how the heck do you get the bolt through there? What? The wrong bolt? You gotta be kidding me. Seriously? Take the bumper off. Crap. Whew. Using PB Blaster. Yeah, sorry I'm shaking the camera around too much, but that made it a lot easier. Heck of a lot easier. adapter so ooh, I think it's 100 foot pounds and my torque wrench only goes up to 100 it's supposed to be 110 foot pounds yep sure is a little extra for the, for the 110 Here's the model number, 33055. In case you guys were wondering. Oh yeah, something else you might be interested in. It's got a uh, 5,000 pound gross trailer weight. I guess that's how much I could pull with it. 9,000 pound straight pull. I guess if I, uh, I had a winch on it, I could uh, yank this thing out. And 500 pound max tongue weight. So I guess that's uh, the ima maximum amount I can uh, put for like a bike rack or whatever on there. Who needs to lift weights when you got bumpers? Oh man, this is gonna be shoot. I got to turn around backwards. Oh. All right, there's the finished product. Hoping the sun's not too bright over there as you can see it because this camera does not like the sun too much. But, that 
Now I can put my uh, bike rack on the front. I don't have to worry about hitting the box anymore. So I think uh, hopefully that's a good move. Hey, thanks for watching my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do for future updates. Remember, build it, don't buy it.